Hey, Long Island, the world. Um, I'm Jim Sabali, rock star publisher of Village Connection Magazine with our premiere issue episode of In the Village Live with Jim Savalli. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me why I'm doing this, and I'm not really sure at the moment, but I know it's going to come to me. But, you know, the pages of the Village Connection um, are just paper, and a lot of the stories that come from the paper are real stories, and I meet really interesting people along my journey um, in putting this paper together every month. So the guys at Madhouse had an idea, and we put it together, of taking the magazine and putting it to life and bringing it to people live and talking to some of our guests and some of the people from the magazine. And, um, and this is it. We'll see how it goes. Um, I have some really great guests tonight. Uh, Keith Hart, who's with me now from the Hart Agency, and um, Mr. Hospitality himself, if I'm allowed to say that, of Long Island. Um, we have the team from Fresh Products, Dr. Ross, um, Howard Hoffman, and Jeffrey John, and one of the superstar fresh um, people, Jen Feldman. Um, and we also have Mark Zecker from Hanu, who's joining us here tonight. And, um, and a musical guest, um, Dan Batista, who will uh, you know, share some of his music with us as well. Um, also, th throughout the show, we'll be giving away some prizes. Um, one of the prizes will be a gift certificate to Hanu. Um, another prize is a basket of fresh products from Fresh Products. And um, Keith is generously donating two tickets to the Hospitality Ball on June 3rd um, for three lucky people. So throughout the show, you can go to thevillageconnectionmagazine.com. And on the homepage, there will be a chance to fill out an opportunity to win one of these prizes. So with that being said, I'm here with Keith, who's a friend of mine. Um, I had the, um, the fortunate, I was lucky enough to meet Keith about a year ago right before the Hospitality Ball. So when I got invited to the Hospitality Ball, I didn't really know what was involved. I just knew I was invited to a party at the Crest Hollow, and, and that was kind of it. But when I got there, and I realized the magnitude of it and how much was involved in it. I realized that it was much bigger than I thought. I call it the party of the century on Long Island. It's that big. Um, last year, I believe you guys made a quarter of a million dollars. Yeah, we raised a quarter of a million for the American Cancer Society. That's unbelievable. Right. It's only and, um, our second year doing this. This is only your second year? Right, right. So you guys are going to pass that for sure. First year was 170,000, and about 1,200 people showed up. Last year, almost 2,000 people showed up and raised a quarter of a million. This wow. year, we're going for 350,000. Well, now we're involved, too, so we have That's to right. at least do 350. Or it's because it's job. I know why you're doing this show, because you rock, Jim. I have. And everybody Thank loves you so you. much. I'm telling <laughs> you but, um, you know, I'm fortunate enough to meet people like this, and I just met Keith only a year ago, and... I consider him one of my good friends. Um, that's why he's here on my first show. And um, I wanted to ask you, because I don't think I've ever actually asked you this, was um, why are you involved with the, um, the hospitality ball? What, what set you on that, on that course? I, I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to try to do something. About five or six years ago, I had thyroid cancer. So after that, my friend's father died of cancer, uh, my partner. And I was looking around, and I said, you know, I want to try to do something. I went to one guy, and he goes, Keith, it's a bad time to do this. It's a bad marketplace. Nobody's going to want to do it. I said, I'm going to try it anyway. Right. And I'm going to just try it. I'm going to throw it against the wall. Let's see what sticks. And uh, I started asking all my friends. And everybody had a story of somebody dying of cancer. Right. Everybody, or, get, or breast cancer is so big in Long Island. So everybody I spoke to, restaurateurs, friends of mine, I'm in. I'm in. Right. I'm in. I went to the liquor companies that I deal with all the time. I said, uh, you guys want to participate? They're in. Before you know it, I had 50, 60 restaurants donating food, 60 nice. or 70 liquor companies donating product, all the entertainment companies donating their time, entertainers to participate. We all got together, and, it, you know, this is our business. Right. We throw a hell of a party. Oh, yeah. That's, and we threw this doubt. party, and it was great. And then the second year, it was even How many even people greater. were involved in that second year at the Crest Isle that I went to last year? How many, oh, like 2,000 people came, but over 150 different uh, people in the trades. Nice. And nobody gets paid for anything. Nice. So everybody, you know, we have big bands that play. Yep. We have big DJs that get paid 10,000. Nobody gets paid. Everybody donates their time. And they're happy to. Yep. And they really are. At the end of it, 
you know, we have a certain camaraderie for, for this. It's a and, major And trying to make a difference. So it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a great accomplishment for everybody uh, that's involved, and I'm very proud of them. Yeah. yeah. I had a great time last year. Yeah. I mean, I was amazed at how many people were actually there. And, and this year's party is going to be the biggest. So and, don't and miss where, it. where is it again? It's at the Crest It's at the Crest Hollow, June 3rd. Right. starts at 7 o'clock. And it's the most fun you'll have with your clothes on. Nice. I'm telling you. It's and be two a great lucky time. people here tonight That's right. are going to win tickets yeah. to that show. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. That's good. So, um, so I have to ask you um, the things that you're doing now is, are, are pretty serious, you know, involved in the hospitality ball. But, right. you know, things must have led you down this course to um, get involved in the industry. I was just wondering how you got involved in the hospitality industry. And um, what, you're, what you do now. I don't know if you have enough time on a show. <laughs> sure, I but heard that. To make it kind of quick, uh, I started as a promoter. And I promoted some big nightclubs, uh, Studio 54 at one wow. time when I was in college in a place called Xenon. Copa when was Cabana. that? That was a while ago. Back uh, before you, 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 you weren't even I thought we were like the same there. age or something. No, uh, uh, 1977. Okay. 1977. And then after that, I promoted this place, Uncle Sam's, which had a rock club, a new wave club. And everyone's heard of that. And I hired, at that time, Madonna nice. when she was chubby. Okay, when she first came out, <laughs> I had Eddie Murphy. I paid one hundred and seventy-five dollars for it to perform. Uh, you two for eight hundred dollars. Wow. Uh, you know the Ramones and so many disco acts you can't believe. That's uh, amazing. And did that, and then after that, uh, uh, I decided I thought I was smart enough to open up my own place. Okay. And I lost all my money. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Yeah, the first, the first time. time. And it was a humbling experience, but the best experience that happened yep. to me. And, Sometimes that happens uh, with failure. You know, and, I was learning right. a lot. And then uh, after that, I, a stupid rose. A stupid rose. <laughs> I saw a girl in Chicago selling a rose. And I, my girlfriend wanted to do something. And we sold uh, uh, roses in the nightclubs. And before you know it, I had 20 or 30 accounts selling roses and doing pictures <laughs> and making... Five dollars a rose, you pay seventy cents. That's amazing. So figure it out. I'm selling a couple thousand. So roses you started that. Started so when that. those guys called me at the club asking to buy a rose, right. I, had was, I had all beautiful girls. Okay. And from there, I had beautiful girls with tuxedos. And from there, I, my friends saw me, and I, uh, I started doing Miller beer, Kent cigarettes, New, uh, uh, Newport cigarettes, and I started doing shop promotions. And I was dying. I, at that time, I was smoking cigarettes. I was drinking at night. I, w I was dealing with corporate people in the morning, and I was dying. And I did that for three, about three or four years. And yeah. it just shows because it, it blew up. It yep. blew up. Now I, now I have like 25 managers, uh, about five or 600 part-time employees wow. that do this. And I do maybe 25, 30,000 promotions a year. That's amazing. And it, it, just, it just blew up. It keeps on getting bigger and bigger. So from... Taking a shot with a rose turned into a, a pretty nice sized business. That's pretty cool. And yeah. I know that you have the, um, the modeling agency. Right. So you deal with some local talent. And have you had any um, girls who passed by your doors that made something? And, well, and just now, a girl named Rebecca Covington, she's on uh, the new Broadway show, uh, Motown. Okay. So she's hanging out with Barry Gordy and all nice. these great people. And she was actually, did promotions for me, but she was a smart girl and she was a manager. And she, she goes, you know what, Keith, I'm giving up. And she was going to go back home. And she went home for a little while. She came back, and she got this Motown gig. Nice. You know, and I've had some beautiful girls that work for me that you would see on billboards and things like that. Right. And girls that uh, have worked, uh, like you know, uh, the E! Uh, channel. I must have shot 20 or 30 uh, uh, calendars for different people for Venus, right. Hawaiian Tropic. And I go, used to go to Jamaica every year and shoot these calendars there. So it's a tough life. So when I see, die, I want to come back as me. Now you see why I invited you as my first guest on my show, claiming right. to be a rock star publisher. Right. I felt like I had to actually have a rock star on my show. Yeah. Um, even though he might not claim to be one, I think I should give up this velour jacket to you. And, uh, no, 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 no. But, um, I'm so ugly like, that I'm pretty. Uh, I nice. feel uh, I'm, I'm a very easygoing guy, and I'm just lucky. I kind of, you know, if you keep on hanging in there and trying things, yep. things work. So that's kind of... Well, you're proof uh, of that. Yeah, I, right. That's why I'm glad to know you, because yeah. I know that you're uh, very respected in what you do, and that's how you get so many people involved in this event every year. It's amazing. Right. So um, I can't wait till it this year on June 3rd at the Crest Hollow. Right. I will be there as a media sponsor of uh, Village Connection Magazine with Keith Hart. And... So um, we can't wait. We're going to go to a commercial, and we're going to bring out some of the guys from Fresh Products. Um, they're a little zany, so it might take a little while to get them set up, and um, we'll come back after that.
And thank you to Keith. Right. And I uh, can't wait till uh, June. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy. I'm with Madhouse TV. This guy just walked up the steps. I don't know. What, the, what, what is the story with you? I'm Go comedian on. Frank Prince. Hey, what the hell do you want here? I want my own reality TV show. You think you're funny enough? Hell yeah. Well, how much money you got? Short arms and deep pockets. You think you can make it? I'm the Marvin J Show. You think? I think. All right. I know. We're going to give him a shot this spring here on Madhouse TV. Tune in and wait for... Frank Prince, the Myron J Show. There you go. We'll see you this spring. We've got a ton of new shows coming up. My pal Frank Prince, great comedian. Wait to see him. Tune in to Madhouse TV this spring. Have a wonderful day. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every... You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Oh, are we back? Yep. And we're back. That's one of the faults of being live that I was a little nervous about that I wouldn't know what I was doing. Um, so now I'm here with my friends from Fresh Products, and um, the way I met Howard was through Keith at one of his events last year for my swimsuit party, which is all about networking and meeting people because we met briefly and um, we became friendly and. You know, recently I decided to do some digital magazines, and I needed some some input for some writers. So um, Howard stepped up to the plate and uh, um, offered me some writers for my for my women's magazine, the uh, Women's Social Network. So it was kind of great to to have met him. And since then, Howard spent all day today as my producer putting together my show. So I have to thank him for that. I really appreciate it. He gave me everything. Neatly, I had to rewrite it because his writing was too small, and yeah. I won't wear these glasses on stage. So, but we have a lot of people here. We have Howard Hoffman, um, Dr. Ross, Jeffrey John, even though he has a different name and I didn't want to pronounce it. But, and we have one of the superstars, Jen Feldman, here. So, all these people were people that I met um, through Keith, and um, they've added a lot to my business and kind of take me out in different directions, and um, I'm really happy to have them here. Um, so I've never really asked you, Howard, you know, how, how you really got involved in all this because the health industry, you know, it just seems something odd to get involved in, not like publishing or modeling. Right. <laughs> um, so I was just curious how that happened. I read this book called P.H. Miracle, written by Dr. Robert Young. This okay. doctor said that cancer cannot survive in an alkaline environment. Okay. So I was like, oh my God, why doesn't the world know this? So what's the biggest thing that we're not doing as a society today is eating vegetables. Right. Uh, 286 million Americans right now are not eating the greens. Um, uh, me too, until Fresh Greens was developed. Right. Uh, then further research, just like a fish tank or a pool, if it's not balanced, what happens? 
the fish flow to the top, the water turns green, and you know, it's an acidic environment. So the whole purpose of what we do is called being proactive, maintaining health, not sickness, right. because we're a reactive society. We wait to get sick rather than preventing it. Absolutely. And I have to applaud Keith. You know, he, he's done an amazing job, and he's a testament of his own self of a cancer thriver, because right. you're not surviving. I've been for five or six years myself. Right. So he's living proof right there. Right there. Um, I can't wait to do my shot. You can't wait. So, and that's what we do. We just inspire well-being. Right. We motivate people. And it's called pH. pH stands for potential of hydrogen. Yep. But the real meaning to us is personal health. The higher right. the pH, the higher the personal health. Yep. That's great. Yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. <laughs> and um, what are some of the products that, that you guys have, and what do they do? Well, we, like uh, Howard said, we have fresh greens, okay. basically all your daily servings of raw organic vegetables. So you don't have to sit at the table anymore and say you can't get up until you finish your vegetables and things you like that. You just down your drink, one teaspoon nice. is all you need. Hours saved. One teaspoon in water, juice, or a smoothie. Okay. And uh, all organic, non-GMO, BPA-free container, just perfect blend. Then you have the pH test strips, which you can, people can actually test their pH to see if they're alkaline, acidic, or neutral. And right. like Howard said, like a fish tank, a swimming pool with soil, you have to be balanced to be right. healthy. And then we have uh, the Himalayan crystal salt, salt from the purest Himalayan mountains. Which two, I have tried. 250 years good. old. Re tastes great. Tastes Beautiful great. pink color. Yep. And add it to your food, cook with it, uh, add it to water just to get all your, your minerals, 84 trace minerals, as That's opposed amazing. to table salt with only two, which is basically not good for you. Right. And, uh, or uh, salt from the ocean, which yep. we know the oceans today are polluted. So those are the, uh, the three products. And... Um, like we said, Fresh Greens is the, uh, the, the flagship of yep. the co company. I and noticed you guys are in my magazine this We're week. in your magazine, month. Village Connection. Love that, that A people show it off. Now I don't have to do it. Advertising the Naval Expo. Where you can Naval come see Expo. us live this coming Sunday at the Huntington Hilton on Route 110 in yep. Melville. So come on out and see us. That's awesome. That's really cool. So I have to ask you, because anything with vegetables <clears> or health-related normally does not have a very good good taste. I mean, how, how's the taste of the product? I mean, is it something that you have to, like, psych yourself up to drink in? And no, Jim, to, to be honest with you, the majority of people say it tastes just like green tea. If you mix it in water, okay. it tastes like green tea. If you mix it in smoothie or a juice, it tastes just like what you put it in. So it takes nice. on the flavor of whatever you put it in. Nice. And we have smoothie bars across the country that are adding this as a shot right at the smoothie bar in local gyms and health food stores because That's of that amazing. reason. Huh. Yeah. That's important, I think, is the, is the taste. Yeah. And, and Jen, how do you fit into all this? I mean, how did you get involved in these guys? Well, it was a long story, but let's make it short and come all day here. Okay. So, a couple of years ago, I was in an experimental period, which I always am, always trying new things, and I had heard this stuff on a podcast. I said, hmm, let's get it. I ordered it. I got this nice little handwritten note from the founder that was cute. I started having it. I loved it. I took it for about a year, and I invented my own product. Really? And I was talking to different people that clearly knew what's up. So me and Howie met, and we ended up talking for about three and a half hours. Right. And he's like, why don't you get involved with us? I, I only get involved with people that are products that I try, and I know nice. that you're not going to die or anything's going to happen. So yep. the year felt amazing. I'm like, good. Okay, cool. That's cool. Yeah, so. Awesome. And since so we've met, um, actually, you have um, taken involvement in the magazine. Um, you actually have a column. I don't even know if you yeah. know this, but one of the columns that you write for the women's magazine was chosen to be in the Village Connection this month, um, which we, when we chose it, we didn't even really know. It was kind of, I said to my sister, did you know that's the same girl that's in the photo shoot? And she said no. So it's kind of cool. It was how it all came together. So you, you, you're in the magazine a few times this month um, with your column and with the, with the photo shoot, which was, we really appreciate. That was great. Um, and it leads us to our next guest, which we're going to be um, bringing out shortly. But, you know, we, we do have a surprise that we want to show to everyone on the air. Um, and we're going to need Mark to come out here um, to help us show it um, because no one knows about it except for him. So it's going to be a little exciting to, to find out that live on the air here, no one knows. Well, actually, Howard knows. He had the poster made, but. I'm not going to tell anyone. Jim, we forgot. Jeff forgot oh, to right. say. Oh, right. We have to try this stuff. Well, right. not even that. I, did not, I didn't forget on purpose. I did forget on purpose because I was, like, thinking of vitamins, and since I knew you'd you, stop me. Since you were asking before, how does it taste? Okay. 
and I'm going to show you right now. What I have is some apple juice here in an open jar. I'm going to show you how easy this is to use. Basically, it's one teaspoon right in your mix. Shake and serve. That seems simple enough. I could probably do that. Simple enough. You can mix it with water, juice, a smoothie, a protein shake, anything that it is that you prefer to mix it in with. Just don't want to mix it any, in with anything. Keith, that's you going to try one of these? Because oh, sure. if you're going to try one, I'm sure. definitely going to try one. We got shots to go around. Yep. And he is a professional. And it is, yes. I can see it. He's dressed very classy. <laughs> like I was wondering why he was the sharpest dressed out of everyone here. He always is. I see that now. I'll have to remember that next time, so I dress a little nicer. Oh, well, Jeff also has another component to talk about what we do, our charity component. Okay. Um, if you may, Jeff. Right, absolutely. You know, one of, the, one of the greatest benefits to doing what we do is we, have a, we work with a charity group called the Gift of Life International. Okay. And what they do is provide life-saving heart surgeries for children in need all over the world. Wow. Um, you know, that's one of the benefits to doing what we do, and it's, it's a real kicker. Like, what you have there, the wellness walk, that's what we were going for. Um, we donate a portion of the proceeds of all of our sales nice. to the gift of life to save kids on a daily basis. It's, it's a nice really to great see family. so many people get involved in yeah, charities. It's, it's a great charity. You know, right? It's something new, and it's, it's you know, it's, I mean, we have two people right here. Two out of two, that's pretty good. Three out of three. So it's important to give back. You know, the better you do, the more you have to give back. Correct. Um, otherwise, it just doesn't work. It's a right. great film. But, um, so, yeah, let's give this a try because right, we're going to get a true test right here. We're going to drink it on camera. Let's get fresh. So we can't fake our reaction. <laughs> you know, like doing a shot of tequila, you make Thank a you, fake, sir. you know, this. Thank you. Should we give it to Jim? Yeah. I'm just going to have one. Okay. Yes. Well, salute. So, next time my mom says, finish all your vitamins, all I have to do is say, Ma, I'm covered right here. And do this. We'll get fresh. Cheers. I got to tell you, I do feel healthier. <laughs> just having something you so healthy inside of me. It's amazing. <laughs> Very good. I'm impressed. So with that, we're going to go to a break. Um, cheers. And uh, we're going to bring in and talk to Mark, and he's going to unveil this surprise for us. Freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials. You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do. <laughs> power! Ba -ba 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 power! Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. Ba -ba 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 power. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, I woke up the 
called, gave me a cold pop. Then I thought somebody was barbecuing. 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 I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. Ain't nobody got time for that. on the fritz you get frustrated when you get frustrated your daughter imitates when your daughter imitates she gets thrown out of school when she gets thrown out of school she meets undesirables when she meets undesirables she ties the knot with undesirables and when she ties the knot with undesirables you get a grandson with a dog collar don't have a grandson with a dog collar get rid of cable and upgrade to direct tv call 1-800 direct tv Okay, and we're back. And I need to start talking a little slower because I'm getting a little <laughs> ahead of myself. I really thought that I would never fit all of this stuff into an hour show. Now it seems like I could fit six of these episodes into an hour show. So I'm going to watch the clock. Um, so, Jen, back to you again, you know, because you kind of got mixed in all the shuffle there. How is your involvement? What is your involvement? What is your, um, what do you do? What is your passion? What oh, is, man. What do, what's, that's a really begins. big question. How do I get involved with Fresh Greens? Yeah, how do you get involved that. with Fresh Greens? Let's I tried it for that. over a year, and then I met Howie about a product I invented, and we got along great, and he's like, why don't you represent my company? And the stuff is amazing. I don't like to promote anything I haven't tried for a long yep. time. The stuff is, whew. So now you're yeah, like, a, like a spokesperson yeah, for the I'm company, like spokesperson, and you go around and... Fresh Superstar, he calls it. Um, I do personal training, uh, music video, I made a cameo, came out wow. um, a couple hours ago. Really? So I play a robot, kind of. That's pretty in cool. that video, and that was shot in Miami. That's friends of mine. Um, what else I do? An interesting thing is um, May 11th in D.C., I'm going to be warming up the crowd for the National Kidney Foundation at the Georgetown Waterfront. So that's one thing I do. Wow. And um, everyone knows personal training. Some people understand health counseling. So I do that mainly for fat loss and more energy, sometimes arthritis pain. Right. I do a lot of different things. Wow, you go do on. a lot of things. You look too young to have done so many things. 28. Oh, okay. 28. Much older than I thought. Yeah. 28. <laughs> a young 28. Speaking of 28, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, bro. <laughs> I have my friend Mark Zaki here, What's who up, is Jim? the owner of Hanu Restaurant, which has been voted this year one of the top 100 hot spots, not on Long Island, in America, wow. as Definitely. voted by Open Table, top 100 in America. Clearly. Very nice. That is a huge accomplishment. And going back to my 28 joke, um, <laughs> Mark, how many years' experience do you have uh, in the hospitality business? I wonder business? where that was going. 28. Well, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to make you say it. Yeah, 28. Because you take. don't look old enough to have 28 years' uh, experience. Yeah, it would take 28. Um, but you have quite an experience. You've traveled the country. You've cooked in all types of places. I mean, what are, that, what are some stories that you might have that led you to this moment in time to, uh, to be here with us? Some stories that led me here? Yeah, I mean, you've opened a few places. Have you, op have you opened anything locally? Or what are uh, some of the places well, you've Well, I mean, prior to Hanu... Um, I was down on the South Shore for okay. many years. So you crossed over. Yeah, I came That's up north. That's a big step. But, uh, yeah, about 1985, uh, I got to be part of opening Patty McGee's. Okay. That's kind of like an iconic place, yep, I would say. Uh, speaking of stories, there's a ton of stories coming out of there. If those walls could talk, a lot of I people would be in trouble. I might add, which is the whole circle here, is that you actually know Keith. 
all right? Yeah. For a oh, long yeah. time. For a long time. We've done business so, for a yeah, long time. We worked so together. that's pretty amazing yeah. that things come full circle and now you're kind of in each other's paths again. I always knew he would eventually own a place right. of his okay. own because he was great at what he did and he worked for somebody else. Yep. The guy was a little bit of a slave driver. Hi, John. Uh, but the guy was a little bit of a slave driver. <laughs> so he he won't say that, about. but I could say that. He did all the work. The other guy got all the money. <laughs> that's amazing. So basically, yeah, that's what happened. And we opened a couple other places. And then finally I was able to uh, become an investor in uh, Bridgeview. Okay. And uh, that became a well-known catering facility. Nice. And a nightclub in okay. its day. But um, after that... Uh, Got out of the South Shore and invested into the North nice. and, and bought Hanu. And now you're here with us, and it's great to meet you because uh, uh, I've known you for a while now. And it's a funny story that um, my sister happens to work with me. She's here. She's probably hiding somewhere, Jean Murphy. And um, everyone refers to my sister as Jim's sister, Jean Murphy. Oh, yeah. But Mark is the only person that I know who will go out of his way to make my sister feel better and say, that's Jim Savalli, Gene Murphy's brother. Yeah. And I like that. That's awesome That's right. because she notices that. I give her a little, appreciates little, that. little credit. There. That's really cool. So what are some of the things that you do to make you one of the top restaurants in America? I mean, you must have some great formulas. I tell I mean, you. It can't just be luck. You know, uh, well, like at Hanu, um, I think people, they get transformed. When, okay. they, when they walk in there, they feel like, they came from Long Island, and they ended up uh, in a chicy Manhattan loft. Yep. Um, it has that type of vibe to it. Um, I think that uh, people feel comfortable there. Yeah. When they come in, it's a, it's a very beautiful space, but it's uh, not pretentious. Okay. So they, they feel relaxed. They feel comfortable. Girls, they feel pretty there. They got the chandeliers, the, so the rich lighting. velvet. Oh, it's great lighting. Uh, <laughs> definitely, uh, well, the glowing candles and, right, right. and up lighting on the brick, uh, rustic brick walls. I think you're going to get a good look at your place in the next issue of the Village Connection. Yeah. Because we actually used um, Hanu as the shooting location of our swimsuit issue, which is kind of unique. Most people would do it outdoors, but we kind of wanted to capture a little bit of um, everything and utilize some of our accounts. And Hanu is so beautiful. They have such great decor that we chose that as a location, which was really cool. I can't wait. She looks beautiful. I saw some she of the looks, photos. Her pictures came out no great. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we had a little surprise. I don't know, um, not too many people know about it, but um, we, we finished the deadline for our last issue, and our swimsuit issue is complete. And I actually, for the first time ever, did not publish the magazine the second it was done. I actually waited 24 hours because we wanted to unlaunch the surprise here in front of everyone. So we have here the cover of the next issue of the Village Connection magazine. It happens to be our second annual swimsuit issue, and it features our cover model, who does not know she's the cover model yet because it was oh. chosen at random. And that is the cover of our next issue. What do you think? So I think that's a picture of you. Congratulations. <laughs> what? Wow. And okay. It's a great picture. We love it. Thank you. Um, Thank it, you. It's more than I expected. It came out unbelievable. And we hope that you're happy. We're going to you know, leave you with this, Very of course, honored. and 100 honored. copies to give to your closest friends because I need help distributing these magazines. Definitely. They're really heavy. Definitely. But, um, so, yeah, it's great. And we just wanted wow. to show everyone that. And once again, nice if you show. go to our That's website, villageconnectionmagazine.com, you can register oh. for some of, the, um, some of the prizes here tonight. And you can actually see our new issue of the Village Connection, which is not even in print yet. Um, but it's ready to go, and I think, personally, it's our best issue ever. Wow. So um, we're going to go to break again, and um, we're going to take bikini. it from there. The yellow and the red. I'm not responsible top. for any of it. Mm. I just showed up. And that's it. <laughs> How do you do on time? Wow, right? cool. I think we're doing okay. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy. I'm with Madhouse TV. This guy just walked up the steps. I don't know what the what. What is the story with you? I'm Who comedian Frank Prince. Hey, what the hell do you want here? I want my own reality TV show. You think you're funny enough? Hell yeah. Well, how much money you got? Short arms and deep pockets. You think you can make it? I'm the Myron J. Show. You think? I think. All right. I know. We're going to give him a shot this spring here on Madhouse TV. Tune in and wait for 
Frank Prince, The Myron J Show. There you go. We'll see you this spring. We've got a ton of new shows coming up. My pal Frank Prince, great comedian. Wait to see him. Tune in to Madhouse TV this spring. Have a wonderful day. Brooklyn's best locks, McKen Hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hours. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. And we're back. And we're just going to kind of talk a little bit about um, Monday night, which happens to be our swimsuit issue. And pretty much everyone that you saw here tonight is involved some way in the swimsuit issue. Um, Keith, once again, is kind of one of the coolest people you know. A lot of guys you invite to parties will say, I'll bring the beer, I'll bring whatever. Keith says, I'll bring the girls. That's kind of cool. Right. So. Um, you know, Keith uh, brought a couple of girls down here tonight. Um, you know, we're going to be talking about the swimsuit party and just um, we're at Hanu on Monday night on May 6th. There's nothing worse than going to a party and there's no women. Yeah, because that you learn that. That's the sausage that. fest right there. Yeah. <laughs> so the women make the whole image I of the party. You, you need a beautiful you so women around because they create the image of the party. So, so, Keith, we're expecting this party to turn out to be a big event. Right. I mean, I, it might be bigger than, right. I'm hoping it's not bigger than what we can handle, but, you know, we like to challenge it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a voluntary donation at the event, and we're going to um, make a donation to the Hospitality Ball. Great. On Thank you. June 3rd. Thank you, yeah. And hopefully it's a, it's a good amount of money. Right. That's all we can hope for. Right. Um, so that's about it. Uh, I think we're going to go take a break again, and we're going to come back with our musical guest, Dan Batista, and his beautiful girlfriend, Josephine. But first, we're going to enjoy um, some models that came down for us. Well, some model that came down for us. Amazing. How are you? Good. How it's great are you? seeing you again. I'm excited to be down at Hanu on Monday night. And you're a former um, Village model yeah. also. Yes, I did one of the holidays. Uh, and that was a great, yes, great piece. We did it together. Came out great. I didn't look so bad, but she looked a lot better, but, you know, was, they carried me. It was. It was a good, we, there was a bunch of us there, all the hot girls who did it together. Well, I appreciate you guys coming down. I understand there's going to be a bunch of views yeah. at the party. We, we would, were at a picture last night with 70 or 80 people, and we, we asked them to come down, and a lot of the girls are coming down to Monday's party. At nice. So, I can't wait. Nice. Right. That would be excellent. Right. So it should be nice and fun. Maybe we'll actually have some footage that we can use um, and bring to our next show. Right. We'll try and pull that off. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, I don't know what show, if this, what, if this show is R-rated or? It, it could be PGR. <laughs> it could be PGR. You know, like we're all adults here. Right. And if there's the internet, we just okay. can't say the seven bad words. Okay. And we're not even going to say what they are. Okay. What? <laughs> uh, she doesn't know. Okay. So we're going to take a break, and we'll come back with uh, Dan Batista and Josephine. And uh, he'll send us off with some really great music. I. Actually, um, was very anxious to have them here. Um, they were the only people I wanted on the show. He is so really good. I think you're really going to like him. He's got a great sound. He's young. He's good sound. 
So uh, that's it. We'll see you in a minute. Most Spice Body Spray will make you feel so powerful to blow your mind right in front of your face. Goodbye. Oh, no! Automatic fresh. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy. I'm with Madhouse TV. This guy just walked up the steps. I don't know. What the, what, what is the story with you? I'm Who comedian Frank Prince. Hey, what the hell do you want here? I want my own reality TV show. You think you're funny enough? Hell yeah. Well, how much money you got? Short arms and deep pockets. You think you can make it? I'm the Myron J. Show. You think? I think. All right. I know. We're going to give him a shot this spring here on Madhouse TV. Tune in and wait for... Frank Prince, the Myron J. Show. There you go. We'll see you this spring. We've got a ton of new shows coming up. My pal Frank Prince, great comedian. Wait to see him. Tune in to Madhouse TV this spring. Have a wonderful day. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. So we're back, and um, I'm here with a musical guest who um, I actually met, again, with networking. It's all great. Um, I have a very good friend of mine, Tito Batista, and this is his son, Dan. Jim, thanks for having me, man. I love his music. The first time I heard him, I, when, I, when I had this show offered to me, he was the only person I thought about to have on the show because I wanted that young sound. I think it sounds great. So, Dan, you come from a musical family, obviously. Your dad is, and he will be a future guest, so we'll learn more about him. But Absolutely. He's very musical-oriented. Um, did have, that have a major role in your decision to be in music? Absolutely. Silly I mean, question. Uh, silly question. Uh, I don't know. I was always told probably not to stay away from music, but okay. uh, crazy lifestyle, you know. Um, yep. But really, I grew up around it. I love it. It became part of my life at a very young age, and uh, you know, playing music since I was five years old, performing, wow. and... Uh, you know, became a, a part of the Boston music scene while away in college. Okay. Um, playing my band, The Organic Sound Project. And, and from there, you know, kind of growing into a producer and wow. kind of my own style. And, and that's kind of how everything happened. You're not 28 too, are you? What's that? You're not 28 also, are you? I'm not 28. Okay. Um, 20, what, kind of, um, what kind of um, musical influence have you had? You know, what, what has influenced your music? Because you have a really great sound. It has a lot of soul. That we'll get to hear in a second. But... Um, you know, it's, it's got a really unique sound, so something must have influenced you with that. You know, absolutely. A, a lot from, like, the classics, like jazz from Miles Davis, um, you know, just also listening to the blues guys, nice. um, listening to Jimi Hendrix and Carlos Santana growing up, but also, you know, listening to a lot of my modern influences as well. Uh, kind of created, like, a bluesy indie songwriter soul sound. Nice. That, that's kind of what I do today. It sounds good. And do you see any future for your music? Are you playing anywhere right now, uh, other than um, Monday night at the? Uh, well, you got me you know Monday night. You got me Monday okay. night. Um, so Monday night I know at it's the last minute, but Absol we do have you booked for that show. Absolutely. If you um, don't do it, I have to do it. So I'll, I'll get you a guitar. <laughs> um, no, it's really. Um, I'm actually self-producing an EP okay. right now. Also, um, doing a project called Human Human, 
uh, with a wonderful singer-songwriter, Josephine, oh, nice. who will actually be joining me tonight on stage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we'll be playing one of my originals, Gasoline, tonight, as nice. well as uh, the Human Human song called uh, Heading Home. I think by tomorrow that will have a couple of people singing that song. <laughs> I hope so. And, um, is there any place where people can hear your music? Do you have it anywhere? Or absolutely. Are we put it somewhere? Um, you'll be able to search Human Human as well as my name, Dan Batista. Okay. So check it out, and you'll be able Excellent. to find me that way. I think they'll all like it all because right. I, I happen to like it myself. Thanks, Jim. So we're going to take a break, and uh, we're going to set Dan up, and he's going to uh, sing some songs for us, and um, then that'll be that. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy. I'm with Madhouse TV. This guy just walked up the steps. I don't know. What, the, what, what is the story with you? I'm Come comedian on. Frank Prince. Hey, what the hell do you want here? I want my own reality TV show. You think you're funny enough? Hell yeah. Well, how much money you got? Short arms and deep pockets. You think you can make it? I'm the Myron J. Show. You think? I think. All right. I know. We're going to give him a shot this spring here on Madhouse TV. Tune in and wait for... Frank Prince, the Myron J. Show. There you go. We'll see you this spring. We've got a ton of new shows coming up. My pal Frank Prince, great comedian. Wait to see him. Tune in to Madhouse TV this spring. Have a wonderful day. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, I woke up to call give me a cold pop. Then I thought somebody was barbecuing. Barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord, Jesus, it's a fire. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. Ain't nobody got time for that. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Okay, here we go. And we're back. And um, I can't believe I made it this hour. I have to thank everyone here. This is a great show. I'm really happy. And um, we're going to finish off with Dan Batista here. He's going to give us a little gasoline and take it from there. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. There was one in the main, a lonely soul who no one didn't understand. He said something to me, he said something to me a few years ago. I'm like gasoline, a little bit you won't believe, but I ain't capable of no. When I'm incapable, I do this strong. Cause when I picked up that guitar, he said, A devil comes looking, a devil comes looking for me. That man he went away And people say they heard him say well, One day you'll see If you give me some time, son I will show you the way Cause I'm like gasoline, he said A little bit you won't believe oh, He was capable of oh, He was capable of oh, A duty strong When I picked up that guitar, he said, I'm never coming to I'm never coming to Miss Josephine Stuckey up here for uh, a tune called The Gnome.
Excellent. Thank you so much, bro. That was better than I expected. Thank you so much. That was lovely. And I want to thank everyone for coming here today. Keith, uh, Mark, where did everyone go? The Fresh Guys, Roxy, Jen. Um, we had a great time. And um, check us out at thevillageconnectionmagazine.com. And we'll see you next week. And if you check out our Facebook, Village Connection Magazine, you'll see our uh, guest for next week. And I want to thank everyone for coming down and have a great night.